Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Atmospheric Heating. The Earth and its atmosphere is warmed by the energy from the Sun. In this video you will find out what happens to solar energy as it enters the atmosphere. Three things work together to transfer energy to our atmosphere. Radiation, conduction, and convection. Radiation is the transfer of energy as electromagnetic waves. Although the sun radiates a huge amount of energy, the earth only receives a tiny fraction of this energy. But this small fraction of energy is enough to drive the weather cycle and sustain life on earth. Thermal conduction is the transfer of thermal energy through a material. Thermal energy is always transferred from warm to cold areas. When air molecules come in direct contact with the warm surface of the earth, thermal energy is transferred to the atmosphere. And convection is the transfer of thermal energy by circulation or movement of a liquid or gas. Most thermal energy in the atmosphere is transferred by convection. For example, as air is heated, it becomes less dense and rises. Cool air is denser, so it sinks. As this cool air sinks, it pushes the warm air up. The cool air is eventually heated by the Earth's surface and begins to rise again. And this cycle of warm air rising and cooling causes a circular movement of air called, called a convection current. Now, as this energy from the sun enters the atmosphere, several things happen. First, about 25% is scattered and reflected by the clouds and air. 20% is absorbed by the ozone clouds and atmospheric gases. About 50% is absorbed by the Earth's surface. And 5% is reflected by the Earth's surface. So all of this working together, the radiation, the conduction, the convection, and then the sun being either reflected, scattered, or absorbed, causes atmospheric heating. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.